friends welcome to the service now word and today we'll discuss how to create a group automatically using service catalog request for implementing this we'll take one use case today and use case is create a catalog form with two variables variables names are group name and group description and after submitting this catalog request up some approvals will trigger and if any one of the approver approved then requested group will create automatically so basically what is that like we'll need to create one catalog form and there will create two variables that is group name and group description and whatever the value will give in these two variables and based upon that one group will be created if any one of if any one approver will approve so let's go to the instance and try to implement it so firstly we'll go to create this catalog form we'll go to the maintain items and uh, here just click on new and you see that form will or new form will be open and here we'll give our catalog item name like new group request and here we'll select the catalog that service catalog or we'll change the name like uh, group creation request will right uh, new group creation request new group creation request perfect and we'll put uh, under the category software and uh, here we'll put the short description like this is used for requesting requesting new group creation and we'll put some description as well like uh, we'll give new group creation request and save it after that we'll create two variables as well one is group name and second one is group description so we'll you see that variables uh, related list is there is click on new and here you will see that uh, new record for the variable is open so we'll make type as single line text only and uh, we'll put the order right we'll put the order some 100 and the question will be group name and you see that name is auto populated group underscore name and uh, that's it i don't think so any other information is required so we we'll leave everything as it is i just click on submit and we'll create one more variable that is group description group description so we'll click on new and uh, here we'll give the order 200 because we want uh, after the group name this field right so we'll put the question question means basically it's a label so we'll put group description description and once we out click outside of the field you'll see that name will auto populate it and I also no need to change anything we'll keep we'll keep everything as it is we just click on submit so now you'll see we have created two variables so let's click on try it and just see how our catalog form looks like so if you see it will looks like something like this like this is used for 
requesting group creation new group creation request new group creation request and all those things and you see two fields one is group name and group description so basically idea is that like once we put uh, the group name and group description and when we click on order now this is not to be ordered it's actually it's a submit but we want to change we don't want to change we'll see later if we require so basically idea is that once we uh, put the group name and group description we click on order now so what will happen it will it will trigger some approvers and once any one of the approver approve then one group will be uh, that group will create automatically whatever the group name they have put it so for that we will create one workflow so i am just opening duplicate tab and there will open workflow so we will put in filter navigator we will write workflow editor and from here we click on new workflow so after that we will give the name like group creation and we will create this workflow for requested item why requested item because in RITM uh, approvers will trigger right so we will write select uh, requested item table sc underscore req underscore item this requested item table and if we want so we'll just give the description as well this workflow is for new group creation via service catalog I just click on submit so what will happen so we'll just delete this thing we we'll come to core and here from approvals we'll select approval user means once it will trigger so it will ask for the approval so right we'll write wait for approval it's like uh, yeah wait for approvals we won't we will not give any condition we'll just simply select some users we'll select one user is abel tutor and second one will select Abraham Lincoln and third will select myself system admin yes and we'll select condition like yeah if anyone approve if anyone rejects rejects the approval and all those things we just click on submit yes so what will happen so the idea is that once this workflow will start it will ask for the approval right okay okay so what will happen if approver will approve then what will happen if approver will approve so we want to create a group right so we will write one script we want to run one script right so from utilities we will drag down the activity run script let's say we will write group group creation script and here we'll write our logic so logic will be something like where gr equal to new glide record and here we'll give the group table name sys underscore user underscore group you may ask like from where we get to know this group table name so if you have a doubts you just type user admin and you see this group 
now you see that sys user group is there right okay now after this we want to create one empty record so we will write gr dot is in initialize initialize function is for initializing creating one empty record in any table after creating the empty record we want to set some value right so we want to set value for which one for name so write gr dot name name will be from this table from group table if you see their backend name will be the name right so we'll write gr dot name and this side we'll write current dot variables means catalog variable we want to access so current dot variables dot group underscore name then for description we will do same gr dot and let's see what is the backend name of the description so you will see the description will be there description so description equal to and here will this side will write current dot we want because we want to access the uh, catalog variable description right group description so we'll write current dot variables dot group underscore description and then after that we'll write gr dot insert means it will insert into the this particular table right yes and then we just click on submit so it's a very simple workflow so so if someone approves it will run this script means it will create this group and and our workflow will end what will happen if someone reject the workflow so if someone reject the workflow mm, we don't want to move over like uh, our item to some other condition like back to some different condition so we just end the workflow without using the without moving some further stages okay so what happened like uh, once the approver will approve it will run this script then our workflow will end group will create and workflow will end and if approval is reject then in that case also our workflow will end and uh, it in, in that case group will not create simple so i am just click on validate the workflow for checking any if any errors or warning is there so we are all good no warnings no errors and we just and then after that we click on okay it's just a simple workflow it's not like in in real time we are using some more things and we are taking some more the conditions in the some consideration so just keep thing keep this thing in mind and just click on publish once we click on publish our workflow is ready and we again now come to our catalog item and so we'll come to our catalog item maintain items and uh, better oh, yeah so we have to set the we have to set the workflow for the catalog item right so we'll just search our name right asterisk group so yes this is our catalog item right so if you see the process engine tab will be there so there you see the workflow right and here we select our workflow that is group creation workflow group creation right and we just click on save now in this page what we'll do we'll open one group table user admin and click on group so now we'll just see before submitting catalog request what are the total number of groups so if you see total number of groups are 45 right now here we click on try it and now we'll give some group name uh group name what we'll give 
let's say i'll give it support l1 okay in group description will put this group is for l1 support group and then click on order now it should be initially submit but uh, but we have to change it right but for the timing we just make it as order now only so you see that one request got generated and ritm also got generated we'll open this ritm and you see some approvals will be trigger right you see stage stage request approve listed approve you see three approvers are there so in our condition is that like if any one of them approve it will create one group so let's say i am approving this click on approve so now you will see that request got approved and for other two approvers it's showing no longer required and now we just refresh this page this group this is the group. here we have opened the group table you see the current count is current count is 45 so if everything is for ever uh, fine the count will increase by 1 and the current uh, then the count will show 46 so let's refresh the page and let's see see the count got increased by 46 and we just and you see this this is our group it support l1 that is their name and the description is this group is for l1 support group same we have put if you see our ritm same we have put in the group name it support l1 and group description this group is for l1 support group so like that will automate this thing and will set more 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 fields as well like manager group mail parent whatever we want to set we can set it so what we have done i will just explain you we have just created two variables in catalog form one is group name group description then after that we have created one workflow in workflow that is very simple workflow we have asked for the approvers once any one of the approver is approved then it will run one script in script what we are doing we are gliding the group table and after gliding the group table we are initializing one record using the gr dot initialize function gr basically it's a object if you see it can be anything i have just taken gr you can take anything obj or any anything so gr dot initialize then after that this is gr dot name object dot name gr dot name means object dot name so name and description field from the group table and we have written current dot variables dot group underscore name so current dot variables is using using for accessing the catalog form variable and this is the variable backend name and then at last we have called the gr dot insert function so i hope you understand this is a very simple use case and if you find this uh, helpful then please write in the comment box till that time thank you god bless you all